sama waji nak yang bega yang kecil dek bi so holiday gudu na lor sah vakansi yang kena waj dah mana na nyibisi cik sama reu investir wah enggak dek sa safar man ma koyor juga nyudam top ma cik sama waj nak abu ni pekade top ma hamgen Gambia lagi dah for open lulu mo waral global properties jok jai leker doa mangi kurang doa mangi nok dengan ampul mana pisin sa disposition dengan ambit jibi security 24 hours the so bagi investir osi enggak mana investir serio jendeker di kunwe hotel ini ham bah Wah, nak amna gan yo kami, dunia begu bunyi yo ciriu nek alaiz, nek ti berbo kami, dunia amsen wan, bun begai tunggu sen leku dek, dunia amsen salbu mak, amsen negu bob, amsen lepu luliap ag global properties mana nek. Jero jero. Jero jero. Devlin niman, niulen global properties, gen jendu seniker, arsen elak, ag busen jabot. Are you a resident of France or its surrounding countries and still wondering how to send your packages to the Gambia? Or your properties got laws or have delay anytime you send them? French Touch is here to solve your problem. French Touch sends all kinds of goods except what cannot be fit in container. They don't only stop at sending but they also sell goods like fridge, mattresses, good quality carpets, Fonicho and many more. Ina ta bunlo jora na karola ufanan kende ma bebiye. Cemento bebiye adadi ma na kende ma. Yulu manda ngali odam ba fanan ad. Ika motoki anin kawa fi nin dadi ma fanan ad. Yun tumo tuma yesan diro kenyi ma. Ika kawa fi ma kono pal. Ime batan di dunusi kala ya dokula so do milyan ko sobe ata bake. Ifon leke la bakaso samba fela la bungo kono. Frank Touch fela sabat ringa le kiti sila balakang gunjur birka ma highway. Ise kacanyo ya nino nini nombal da alkami jeskir. The truth really is, you know, the number of parties created in this country is a reflection of the diversity of opinions in terms of how governance should be undertaken. You understand what I mean? So that diversity itself is beautiful. It is very rich. Now, the objective of an alliance was to see whether you can bring that diversity together to an extent so that we'll have groups of differing opinions forming blocks based on uh, their mutual ability to coexist. And we need a thing like that in every country. We cannot be the same. We all cannot be the same. So even though we are trying to restate the record straight, Doyle are our friends, they are our neighbors, and they are our partners in the political space of this country. And they, they deserve and, and enjoy the highest honor and respect from CA. Let me, let me add to um, what Chairman has just said. See, we believe in the principles of the four C's with regards to relationship among parties. That is first we cooperate, we coexist, we compete, but this competition is about ideas. We also challenge each other. For me, this is normal. We see things differently. But one thing that is certain at CA, our doors are not shut. If tomorrow we realize working with DOT or any other party will bring meaningful change to Gambia, mm -hmm. We we'll still work with them. Absolutely. It's normal. See, Gambia is bigger than CA and Dori. Gambia is bigger than Dr. Sise and Honorable Khalifa Salah or any other political leader. Mm -hmm. We have more problems in this country than this back and forth between Doi and CA or any other party. The suffering in this country is intolerable. Mm -hmm. As we speak in this press conference, as a police officer and a teacher who left their home this morning without leaving the pass at home, think how to get the pass at work. 
as we speak, there's a woman who's giving birth right now. I'm not sure whether he'll make it, she'll make it or not. Your husband is outside the hospital waiting for the court to say your wife did not make it. Or to say, go look for blood. As we speak, <coughs> there is a handicap who lives deep inside Busumbala, who wants to go to Serekuna to buy food, and he or she cannot go, because there is no more it. As we speak, there is a university student whose parents did everything to sacrifice for his or her education, thinking that after university, he or she will get a job. You pay that debt. That child is about to graduate, not thinking why he or she will get a job. These are our problems in society. As we speak, there is a guy in Libya who, is, who got stuck, a Gambia. And these or her parents are in limbo, don't know what's going to happen to their child. These are our problems. These are more important than the going back and forth. And I think that is what we should focus on. And I think at CA, this is our challenge. And this is what we are working on. So if tomorrow, the work we do or any other party to bring this change and ensure that university student gets a job, and then so child birth becomes a joy for that woman and the husband waiting outside is waiting to get the news whether it's a boy or a girl. That handicap can easily move her and go to do her groceries or his groceries and come back in peace. That police officers living home, enough food and enough cash power and enough depots and go to work in peace and focus on his or her job and that teacher and that nurse. Then we work with anybody to bring that change to the gap. So for me, this is history now. We are going to close this chapter. We are going to focus on our nominations and we are going to focus on the preparations for the elections. Thank you. Okay, about the nomination, I have a question on that. Um, I want to know where would the CA gather? Like the delegation will start their march from to the IEC. And then how prepared is the CA you know, regarding this nomination? Well, very prepared, we will gather at the traffic light on Tuesday at 9.30. Our, the time allocated to see is 12.30 to 1. We are ready. Our file is ready right now as we speak. We meet all the criteria. We are just waiting for Tuesday. Our party militants and other supporters will gather at traffic light. We will peacefully march to uh, the IEC headquarters. And in line with um, the course of conduct of the IEC, we will present our nominations and then we will go home. And wait for the campaign to start. We'll do a campaign in line with CA's strategy and then we'll go for elections. Um, I, well, this question is coming mostly from the public yeah, on social media. They have been criticizing the alliance and the composition of the alliance. They have been, some have said, why GMC? Why you have chosen to go into an alliance with GMC, given that my party is somebody who is questionable with regards to some of the feelings in this current executive that he was working on. What do you say about selecting your bedfellows? Politics breeds brings strange bedfellows. Is it in your place to start selecting or to, how do you go about this? What's your response to this? The choice of who is in that alliance was not decided by CPA. Like we said, initially, all other political parties, except them, obviously, came to that table. Now, for one reason or the other, others left. So we cannot be leaving because once we are, once we, our integrity is important. Once we are said, that force there, remember our force meeting, what was the commitment like that we are committed to this. So even if it was Satan who was remaining, we will still see it through because we made a commitment that we are going to see it through. Why, why not hear your then? Satan? No, I'm just, I'm just giving an example. It is an example I'm giving. What I'm saying is that at that table, we did not choose who was sitting at that table. The agreement among all was everybody was supposed to be there. So who is there and who is not there was not, it was a group for us. And there are those who left along the way. So we cannot be saying that Mr. X is there, so we are leaving, no? We give a commitment. And for me, our commitment, our word is important, is key. Uh, that is why we stay there. And people can have their perceptions about people, but we respect every party leader in this country. And there is no party leader today that has been legally found wanting in this country. So we don't listen to rumors. We don't listen to people's private perceptions about people. What is important is that anybody who is a party leader, whose party is recognized by the IEC, and who has not committed crimes in this country, 
that are detrimental to the Gambian people and you are found wanting in a competent court of law, we can work with you, etc. Can I follow to say that your invitation was an invitation extended to APRC or NPP? No, we said that all parties except the NPP alliance. Yes. Okay. So no yeah, invitation extended right. to NPP. They had their own alliance and, and the, the purpose of the alliance was to ensure that we end the NPP, the Barrow Bad rule. Because every reform that is supposed to take place did not take place. It is sad that we are going to election with the same electoral law that Solo Sandin died for in time to reform. It is sad that today we are still using the same constitution that we said is bad. It is sad that today nothing has changed, no electoral reforms, nothing. So therefore we want to bring, remove a decadent system. So therefore those who are responsible for amplifying and strengthening that decadent system, we cannot be working with the other alliance. So all parties except that axis were part of this law. Oh, we are not invited, sorry. We are, not, we are invited except this one. <coughs> are you done? Any more questions? Perhaps to say um, you've renounced your Swedish citizenship. Um, some have also criticized that and said, at any moment, you could apply again, um, just be critical, as I always try to be. What's your response to that? I mean, to be very frank, I don't see many Gambians who would have a citizenship of another country and renounce it. But what's your response to those who criti criticize you and say that still, it's just a show that, you know, you could still reapply and get it? Listen, those who say that perhaps uh, don't understand how it works. One thing I can surely say here, anybody who has contact with the Swedish authorities can contact. Once you lose, you don't get it back. One of the first questions I asked the migration authority when I was applying is that, is it possible to reapply for this? They said, no. Once you renounce, it's done. So make sure that before you sign and send this to us, that you are sure that you want to renounce this. So I'm not going to get that back. The only way I can get it back is the way I got this one. Move to Sweden, live there for many years, go through the process of getting forced a one year stay, leave to remain in, in, in Sweden, pay tax, work there two years, get a permanent, that takes five years, get a passport after five or six years, and that is the process again I could want to do if I want it back. But flex, I've done more sacrifice for this country than the returning to the citizenship. After 20 years abroad, I got my PhD, I had offers to stay, and work in any university, especially of us Cape Town was one, say under the was to Edinburgh was three. I said no, I'm going back to Gambia. If my knowledge cannot help transform my country, then it is worthless. If my knowledge can just give me a nice house and my kids to go to private schools and a nice car and travel, then the knowledge is useless. My knowledge has always been to transform the lives of the people in the Gambia. And that is why when I finished my education, I came home to the Gambia and did not look for a job at the UN or at any ministry. I went to the university to work at the university. My first salary was $7,000, the first paycheck. When I buy cash power and fuel is over, it's done. Sometimes I'll pack my vehicle at Westfield to join the Gale with students to go to Africa to teach because I could not afford the fuel for the entire month. Go to my bank at Cross Bank. Before the 15th, I'll go for overdraft so that I can survive, teaching at the university. When even if I had gone back to the UK or Sweden, by just working at McDonald's flipping burgers, I'll make more money than what I was making at the university. So I made a sacrifice. So for me, what is a, what is a, what is a passport? What it does for me, I'm never going to live to, in Sweden anymore. The only advantage I was having from that was ease of travel. I can easily travel if I want still. Just apply for a visa and travel if I need to do that. But Gambia is worth much more for me than a Swedish passport. I was born in the Gambia. I will live and die in this country. So therefore, returning a citizenship to serve my country, I'll do it now, and if need be, I'll do it again without even thinking about it.